Hello guys and welcome back. Mm, you know, it's a funny thing because I must have did this video as like seven times. First the lights come off, then I get interrupted, and then my st and then my shelf knocks and falls down. I must have did this video at least like six, seven times. But anyways, what I was saying is that today I'm doing another cool collection thing. Don't forget, thank you for supporting. Mm, yeah, that's right. Thank you for actually yeah. <laughs> See like six girls. No, but seriously guys, thanks for your support on my channel called The Lemon Gamer. Don't forget to keep liking it, and if you could subscribe to it to help my channel grow. Thanks for all your support. On the description below, there will be two more links, okay, of some more cool game collection videos that I'm doing. Now today I'm discussing, it's Atari's turn, my friends. We're talking something that's been made in 1975. I think it might be 1970. This is something that is made way before any of you guys was all right so i'm gonna get right up to it and if you do know know it put it on the comment section down below like i said thank you for your support and let's get this get not give away let's give this cool collection thing started and as always <laughs> freaking mr moose moose is always in my way every time i'm trying to do these videos <laughs> now i'm just playing guys but seriously let's get this started here we go <laughs> All right, but these, all right, so far I'm going to show these, okay? And of course, actually, I'm doing it in my video game closet. I'm actually going to do it in my closet or in the living room if I'm getting interfered, but mainly in my closet, which is actually kind of cool, though. All right, these are this instruction booklet things, okay? This is Pac-Man, all right? Let's first start off with here. Okay, here we go. This is Pac-Man. This is 1980 we're talking about here. This is something that was actually made way before me and you guys, seriously, this thing is older than me. That's even the funny thing about it. These are just instruction booklets. But some idiot, or Jack Donkey, can't say it on the channel, though. <laughs> no, seriously. This is made in 1980, this one. Now, I got a whole bunch to show you, which is actually really cool. Here's another one called Mrs. Pac-Man for Atari 2600. Now, the Atari had two. The, actually, no, I think they have like three. The normal Atari, 2600, 52, and I don't know if there's a 72. Put on a comment section down below if I did forget it. But this is Mrs. Pac-Man for Atari 2600, which is actually kind of cool. Now, Mary said these are just booklets. This is Berserk, okay? Which, no, not the Berserk off the anime, which I think you guys might know what I'm talking about. The Berserk anime is totally cool, though. This is Berserk, which is even really cool. I, like I said, these are the instruction booklet things. This is Breakout, which it kind of looks like some kind of soccer thing. I really don't know. And you know what's even funnier? On the date, if you look, it says 1978. 1978! This is a lot older than me, really, seriously, come on, bang! <laughs> yeah, Breakout, it looks like some kind of Olympic thing, which is actually really, really cool, though. Uh, here's another one called Atari 2600 called The Phoenix. Phoenix, I guess, is uh, some kind of bird, fiery type of thing. Well, yeah, tell me on the below. <laughs> yeah, that's called Phoenix. And then here's another cool one, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark for 2600 of Atari. Really? They had this for the Atari? I never knew that. What is going on with this? <laughs> really, for the 2600, seriously, though. Okay, that's Indiana Jones. And if I could... There's a whole bunch of booklets here. It's ridiculous. Grand Prix. Now, I know there's an indie one, and this is a normal Grand Prix. It looks like something like that, though. But, yeah. Now, here's a, some kind of Activision River Raid Plane of Field. I do not know what the heck this is, seriously. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Uh, Chopper Command. Um, I don't know what that one is, though. Uh, Wizard of War, which, like I said, these are all instructions, see? They make their instructions like this. How can anybody read this? <laughs> really, it's all printed so small they can't even read it, which is fun funny. Warlords. Warlords. Now, this one looks like some kind of medieval thing. This is just uh, a, um, what you want to call it? I don't even know. It's It says it's for the Atari, and it's Warlords. <laughs> Yeah, video pinball, which is actually really, really kind of cool, though. If you like the pinball games, I mean, I suck at pinball, so yeah, you probably know. <laughs> but that's called video pinball, and these aren't coming off because they're really stuck, which is driving me nuts. Laser blast instructions. I guess all Atari games were like this, right? <laughs> 
Here's an old one. Asteroid Space Cadets. Here we go. Yeah, it's even more funnier when I do it in person. Missile Command. I don't know. I, I guess it looks like one, but it's all coming back. Boom. <laughs> Here we go. This is Riddle of the Sphinx. Uh, is this supposed to be some kind of like Tomb Raider thingy? Let's see if I can zoom in. I'll go. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be some kind of like Tomb Raider type of thing, which is okay. These are older ones. This is like another 1975. 1975. 75. 75. 75. <laughs> Air Sea Battle, man. These are our instruction booklets, which is actually kind of cool. Space Invaders! The aliens are attacking. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Space Invaders time. Here we go, the Indy 500. Now, if you're into racing, this is Indy 500. These are all like 1975 ones, which the booklets are even a lot smaller. This is called Outlaw, okay, which... Kind of looks like some kind of western. Why would they put it on the back like that? I I really don't know. All right, whatever. I guess that makes some sense. Combat game instructions. Hmm. Is this a game or is this a? Why would it say combat game instructions? I I don't know. It looks like some kind of graph thing they make. Tank, tank, pawn, invisible tank. You got me here. I do not know any of that. <laughs> really. Here we go, Defender, which is another 1981, which is actually really cool. It says CX409. Why is there a teddy bear? Special feature. I don't know. Why is there a teddy bear underneath this? Come on, really? And the last one, actually, no, there's not the last one. There's about, like, maybe one more. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just supposed to with you. Okay, Yars Revenge again. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge. <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, I'm just messing with you guys. So, okay, those are the cool instruction booklets that some idiot threw out, which I do not know why. All right, which I'm going to put those away over here it's like 100 degrees outside and in this closet thing is really tight now we'll show you the cool games okay which here we go with atari boom if you guys know i got the frogger the complete frogger it says sears and video game system frogger is in the complete box okay this game was made in 19 see if i could find it on the back okay okay 1978 this game is made 1978 1978 seriously 1978 this frogger game was made i'm gonna stick into light so you guys can see and here we go with the with the vintage games the miss pac-man for atari 2600 it has a silver to it i don't have the back for it though but yeah this is miss pac-man for the atari 2600 and now here we go for all you've been waiting for the pac-man itself for the game program, use analog joystick controller, CX4206. Don't know why, but this is the original Pac-Man, which is kind of cool for the Atari game itself. Now, if you're into racing, you definitely totally totally know. This is the Grand Picks, which is actually kind of cool. Grand Picks, my friends. Ready? Here we go. Air Sea Battle. It says game program, use analog joystick controller. Let's see if I can zoom it back. There we go. And it's funny, is because they put it on the back over there, which, all right. Now, the other one I'm telling you about is Combat Game Program CX21 Tank. I think there's like six of them in here, and it's very cool to show these kind of Atari stuff, which if you guys don't know, it's these are all vintage, which is very, very cool. Now, here we go, that one I showed you before. Telltale Games Defender. Which this doesn't have a back though, but I guess this is how the Atari games look. It's it's, it's square. It's square. <laughs> yeah, it, it's square, guys. And I know if you're all into racing, this is the Indy 500, which is even better. Okay, there's like six games in here. I have the bottom to it. The Indy 500, I wish I went to, but well, yeah, you know. Now here's another one called Wizards of War. This says CBS... <clears throat> Excuse, this says CBS Video Games, which has uh, some kind of tag thing over there. Joystick ready to go, vaporize, survivors shoot them. 
Yeah, shoot them. What is this going to? <laughs> really vaporize and yeah, there's a whole bunch of like writings on there. Now another one for this rare Atari collection is called Chopper Command. I I'm really not that sure of what this one is, but I mean if I ask someone a lot older than me, they might know what that is. Now here we go, Outlaw. Why does it have like C26? I, this, this is another Atari game, it's called Outlaw, which is actually really, really cool. I think that was from one of the book lists that I showed you before though, but seriously, it's it's really cool. Now, Laser Blast. <laughs> the aliens, the aliens, I knew it, the aliens, they're coming for you. Not on this play though. <laughs> okay, no, 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 really. Aliens, uh, la aliens, <laughs> Laser Blast. Uh, I, I I don't know what that is. Oh, if you guys see in the background, this is the original Atari books for one, two, and three. I'm actually missing one more, which is actually really, really cool though. Now, another one is called Defender, but if you looked at this Defender was blue and the other Defender was red, which is actually really, really cool though. I have a lot here. <laughs> Warlords, this is another one of the program ones that I showed you, which is even better. I don't know why they have the C2610, I, why do they put those weird numbers on the back? I think they're all like codes or something probably, it, it's, it really gets me space out there. This one, which is on my wall, is going to blow your mind, guys, have you ever seen this? The original, original, 1978, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, Donkey Kong. Guys, this says by Colco, but it's still fit for the Atari. The original Donkey Kong. The original Donkey Kong. Do you guys know this? This is a lot older than me. And it's square, my friends. It's square. The original Donkey Kong cartridge. Do you know how valuable this is? I mean, really, if it wasn't original box, it's worth a lot of money, though. Seriously. The original Donkey Kong. Here's another one. Breakout. Now, they all have, like, C26... I don't know why do why is there so many it's weird because it says one through eight and I don't I don't know that's this breakout. And last and not least for my collection of my Atari games is called Pitfall. <laughs> I'm just playing. Here's another pitfall. These games are probably like 1975 and 80. Because if you see they're all square. And of course it's that. Now let's just recap. Okay, this is Pitfall that I got. Which I'm going to put back on the shelf. See? Pitfall. Wizard of War. Which you all missed out on. <laughs> the Indy 500 series. Okay. Defender. Which I think I have two of these. It says Telltale Games. Which is even funnier though. This is just a recap. Just so you guys, if you didn't see it in the first four or five minutes of the video. Combat, which there's at least like seven games in here. Air, C... Air Sea Battle, my friends. Air Sea Battle. Grand Picks. <clears throat> of course, everyone likes the Grand Picks, so this is like the indie, though, seriously. The Pac Man itself. Pac Man. Seriously. This is the one that where you go to like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and play on the original arcade, which is, sucks because we used to have an arcade and they took ours down because it caused so much fights. I only went there one. My friend knows what I'm talking about. It's, it's really because I like going into arcade, you know, hang around, have a good time. No, people got ruined because they fight and then they close it down. It sucks, man. It really does. Then you can't play games like these, which doesn't make no sense. Pac-Man. Really. Uh, breakouts. They all have, like, the CX number. I don't know why, though. That one I'll save for last. Warlords, CX216. Defender again, which this one is in blue. If you saw before, the other Defender is in red. Laser Blast. Laser Blast, the aliens. The aliens. Outlaw, if you like Western stuff. I only know a little bit about this, but not quite too much, though. And last, and actually, no, there's like three left. And Chopper Command. And if I missed out, the Atari 2600 Miss Pac-Man. Not to mention, 
a Frogger, which is in the original box, which you probably cannot find right now. And, oh, as a special, as a special, I got Tetris, 1978, which is in the original box, which is on the wall right now. Tetris, my friends. Tetris. And it's funny because it's from Russia, right? But it also says that's made in uh, Japan and then America. That's an imprint. Seriously. And last and not least, I leave on the gaming list for everyone to see is the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. I mean, if you guys love Donkey Kong, they're probably at like, what, like seven right now? This is the original first Donkey Kong that was ever made. You play this in the arcade. You guys are going to love it. Seriously. And trust me, Mario, <laughs> he looks totally different. And Donkey Kong is actually his enemy. But nowadays they do is that they have... Mario versus Donkey Kong, or Donkey Kong teams out with Mario. Go figure that one. What is this world coming to? Eee! No, but seriously, guys, though, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong is where it's at. I hope you like this really cool stuff. I mean, in my Atari collection that I'm showing you, the two links will be on the bottom of the description below. Thank you for your support on my channel. Keep supporting my channel, the Lemon Gamer, guys. Help make it grow. It's all because of you. You're all awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel today. Check out those other links. And tell me if you've ever seen a Donkey Kong like this that old a lot older than me <laughs> but anyways let me get out of here though i'm like sweating like peanuts over here and everything no but seriously though i hope you like my channel keep supporting it don't forget to like on it thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time on this exciting cool video that i'm doing and i'm gonna set it and leave it off with the donkey kong and oh wait before i get going but here's the thing too you know it's funny because the donkey kong is white right now tell me this one. The Atari games are black. So now, why? <laughs> See that? If I can get this perfect for you without falling, why is Donkey Kong white? And why is the, the Atari game black? Go figure that one. Seriously, guys. I'm leaving off with Donkey Kong. Keep supporting my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. For some cool, more exciting collection videos, I'll show it to you every once a week on my channel, The Lemon Gamer. Have a good one. And I'll just set off with the Donkey Kong. Good day, everybody.